part, uh, it was of the strong message it delivers about the environment, about the, uh, making people uh, uh, that may think about uh, the mankind, about what we do, what we do to the nature. Uh, it's about how, as an individual, we can make a difference. So I, I chose a script. I really want to talk about the fragility of human to be corrupt. So um, when I do this movie, it, it, the first thing important is to taking care of the hurt. So for me, it's um, that's why I do this movie for because the the hurt needs to talk about them. So uh, I, of course, I was inspired from the mix real with the real and the fantastic like Lord of the Rings example, we talk about the, 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 the ring, but the corrupt of the people. So it, it's, it's the same thing for me, but with the mix with the real, uh, real people. But making a feature film gives you more time to tell your story. But a short film, it's a, you have a very six minute, a very short duration to tell your story. So how hard was, was it to express yourself in such a short time? I mean, what was the screenwriting process like? Uh, I had the, ch the chance to uh, make several short films uh, in my life. And I think I learned to synthesize in a few minutes the main message. Um, and, I, uh, and also uh, everything is playing to, atmos uh, to playing the atmosphere, the emotion. And um, I love so much to do now um, and make a short film because we have six minutes, 10 minutes to explain and very fast. And um, I love to do that because it's, it's more easy than a, a, a long story. So uh, I love so much uh, the, um, the short film, yeah. Gabriel was uh, about for the script, uh, he gets, uh, he gets on, and you have um, Gabriel on his own way of uh, writing the script and and then we we talk about the script and how we we could do uh, something in the, in a part that may seems like okay we uh, we uh, we kind of uh, in the forest and uh, I think that uh, uh, about the script we we determine each and every aspect of it. Uh, the choice of not having any dialogue in the film. Did that uh, create any confusion while writing the script or was the choice of making a silent film uh, from the very start? Or did you take a decision yeah, after yeah. a while? Yeah, oh. at, at, at the very start. And, 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 and the good thing is, is because when nobody's speaking, uh, because we, we come from uh, Canada, uh, Montreal and Quebec, and we speak French. So um, it's more easy when nobody speaks and uh, we put uh, the, the movie uh, at many festivals around the world. At the, at the beginning, they suppose, Dania, the, the, the elf girl, supposed to, to, to talk a little bit, but uh, in the elf uh, language, but I fi finally, nobody's talking, only silence, yeah. Well, perfect. Um, do you think film as a visual medium should be more reliant on visuals rather than sound? As a filmmaker yourself, do you think that? I think that the, um, the visual effect uh, was a game changer here. Uh, uh, we we have a, a lot of uh, special effect. If you if you see the film, if you saw the film, uh, you, you you see uh, that we we have the color that uh, has his own character in himself. Uh, the music, sound, and all of this great stuff was. Uh, all put all in together, but was every kind of um, of character, every single kind of details. So um, uh, the I think silent film is uh, speaks more and more than uh, what it was supposed to. Um, I think that um, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, travelers like uh, 
played by Arnaud Vincent Rachela, uh, uh, is the kind of people in the, the, the society that uh, is corrupted by greed. And, you know, uh, it's, it's also like, yes, uh, Lord of the Rings stuff, but Avatar movie, if you already yes. seen it. Yes. We have both sides, uh, uh, the human that want to get enriched, extracting resource. And on the other side, you have Daniel Tsubodo as the elves uh, that wish to defend their, his homes, traditional way of living, uh, this, this, this sacred nature. So um, um, in many ways that um, uh, we, we all put that all together and we have two two sides uh, of the middle, like yeah. uh, like the queens. One wish to destroy uh, the other uh, in several movies that's uh, represented, but uh, in in this very film, there's uh, the health that convincing the men to go its own ways instead of destroying each other to go only one way. Uh, and we put all in this and in, into images. And also, um, where did you come up? Like all these inspirations, what are the different things that have inspired you to come up with this? The inspire, of course, I love so much the wood. Uh, I love to, um, uh, in Quebec, uh, we have the um, um, four season. So I love uh, the change of the season and uh, the winter, the, 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 the summer, and of course the autumn. And um, I do there because uh, the light, because uh, of everything is change. And I love, uh, I love so much to play and make movie in, the, in wood. So the nature, and then in the nature, of course, uh, I love so much the nature and that, that, that's inspiring me. Uh, to do this movie, of, of course. Uh, and when I meet Steve, um, because Steve likes so much the fantastic movie, we talk to each other and we have a match together. People make superhero films, people make dramas, romantic films, but environmental films are a rarity still. So you choosing to fund Gabriel's film is actually um, a serious, serious step towards a betterment, towards creating art that's very important for us right now. Um, why did you choose to fund the film? Are you an environmentalist or do you have like, what was your idea? Why did you choose to help Gabrielle in making the film? That's a good, great question, uh, Sayata. Um, I auto finance the movie. Uh, I, first of all, um, it's sure uh, I pretty much like medieval, middle age movie, fantastic fantasy and also historic. Um, when I decide to um, have um, to proceed with Gabrielle, I had a, a list of uh, filmmaker uh, that wish to, to to finance the the uh, one of their their movie, and um, I stop on Gabrielle because uh, uh, ancestral land was, uh, you know. It's storyline line and for a producer is very important right here. Uh, is because uh, yes, I, I have to do uh, some uh, some kind of stuff that are um, that's within me and that is within uh, in parallel in into the society. What about we speak about in in the media or is it uh, something that uh, attracts people attention. So um, when I, I choose uh, Gabrielle, it is not only for that, but it also his experience. He, he got uh, a lot of years into the, the filmmaking. So uh, it was a, a really good fit. Um, funding uh, demands a lot. Uh, maybe you, you, you know, uh, it's right. It's not about everyone that wish to, to, to fund it at all. Uh, a lot of here, uh, like here in uh, in Quebec, it is uh, it is the government that's uh, some vention uh, movie maker, and a lot of people ask the government, and here a few are chosen. So uh, it's very difficult to attract some sponsorship. 
uh, and to making a, a movie of that quality. So, uh, uh, of course, uh, I can say that we are auto promoted each other as uh, Gabriel with his company Fusion, Fusion Film, excuse me, but also a like film for uh, um, about the, the, the fantastic genre. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so it is very hard to, um, how is the short film market over there? Is, are there platforms for, to showcase short films uh, over there in Quebec? Or is it um, very hard to promote a short film? Kind of hard. You, you must have a lot of, uh, of uh, liquidity, a lot of money to make it because you have a, a budget production to respect. You have a, a budget marketing. Also, if you, so you wish to get uh, uh, promoted, so uh, you 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 need a, a lot of um, of experts surrounding yourself to do it uh, that way. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, fantasy and fantastic films, uh, the demon are uh, some. Um, uh, from the government, some uh, fact in the in the government, if I remember well, uh, it is not the most important genre yeah. that people wish to see. There's a humoristic here that functioning greatly, action or drama, but fantasy or fantastic or uh, science fiction pass even uh, before a uh, fantasy movie. So. Uh, if we gonna do it uh, in that genre, we're, we're, there's only a few that can make it here in Quebec, of course, but uh, we have to go beyond Quebec. So we have to check uh, uh, in the future, maybe in the USA or Europe or uh, people interested in uh, producing some kind of great stuff. So yeah, absolutely, because you had an approach which was more international rather than local, because you approached the film with uh, an international thought process. Like you had to sell the film all over the world. You had to make people realize the importance of the film to all over the world. It doesn't matter whether it was just in Quebec because it's an universal story. We yeah, as humans are all affected by it. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, that is why it being a silent film is more important, was more important for this art. Coming and back that's why I, I, I go uh, with the, the question number eight. That's why for me, the music is very important in this mm. film. Even more is this um, one, because we have no, we have no dialogue. So, um, and the music is clearly a character of this story. And it's helped to understand um, the story, of course, the nature when this count a sweet and the other side hate when the acts uh, we are more into something dark in this movie so the music is clearly very important to understand uh, everything yeah that because we have no dialogue so of course yeah and the yeah. music you know the music and the color complement each other which i saw with absolutely beautifully uh, beautifully made film so these are different small intricacies, which I love. And um, because you talked about the music, let me go to that right now uh, directly. The music composer of the film, what was your collaboration of, with them like? How did you make them understand how, how did they approach the sound design of the film? At the beginning, I, uh, I editing the movie. I, uh, I, do, I do this and I, I put uh, two um, something song. I put Lord of the Rings, of course, and I put a Baraka movie. It's a documentary. So if you want to see a Baraka, it's a very good documentaries all around the world. And I put something musical, something like that. And uh, I finished the movie. I send to do uh, uh, in my compositor and he see the, the the things I would like, but he, he, he do some things like that, but um, different. So um, at the beginning, I'm not sure about this music they, they composed. 
So, but after one, two, three uh, li uh, listening, I love so much what Wes is going to do. And uh, of course, with the, um, uh, the sound effect, it, it, it's, it's very cool again. So it, it's very quiet, but it's very cool when they done together, the, the guys uh, together. So I'm very happy of the music. All right. It was a very, I mean, I can understand that this would be a very complicated process to go about this. Um, how, approximately how long did it take for the entire post-production process? I mean, was it very long? Was it months? We uh, speak about the script, me and Gabriel, the 12th of November, 2021. Uh, no, uh, I mistake. Uh, the 8th November, 2021. And the 1st of March, we have completely uh, post-produced the movie. And it went into festival on 16 of March. All right. So um, your then we should go and we should congratulate your actors, both um, Arno and Dania, because without them, I think no matter how good the music is, how great the cinematography is, or direction is, production is, anything, it wouldn't have mattered if the actors were not good. And they have brought the shine on to the film that we are enjoying so much. So we should congratulate them. How did you find them? Have you worked with them before? And how did you tell them? I work uh, twice uh, with uh, Arnaud. It's a, a second medieval movie with Arnaud. And uh, for Dania, I, I worked twice again, but with uh, but no uh, in medieval movies. That's the first time with Dania in medieval, medieval style. Um, we don't do any practice we are done, okay? Only add a discussion with my actor. We talk uh, some things like that uh, at Zoom. And, um, but I, I say it's um, important to do everything with your heart, with your face, to, to, to explain at the people, at the audience, what's going on over here. So uh, it's a traveler, you are an elf. Um, of course, I really explained to Dania, uh, you are an elf and that you are a, a garden of the forest, the garden of the peace of this forest. And you are gentle, serene, and that she wants to support, you support to help uh, this man traveler uh, from the, the danger of this evil axe. And, and, uh, and so I, I say something like that with my um, actor and they, they do very well. I, I love so much because when I see, uh, when I script the movie, I see, okay, Dania, she looks like an elf. Arnaud looks like a traveler from this time and um, with the medieval time and I see these guys to do this movie. So um, that's why I, I talk about uh, come with me and do a movie. <laughs> we have spoken about the set, we have spoken about the production, we have spoken about the cinematography, the filming, everything. Now, uh, also the acting. Uh, the, the most important thing that, draw, that drew my attention after the cinematography and the color were the very accurate costumes that the film has, the accurate costumes, the beautiful, um, the coins that they were, that were falling when he was cutting the tree, the ax, these are beautiful props and costumes. How did you manage to, did, did you make them? Did you get them from somewhere? How did that happen? We talk about uh, with Dania, it's, it's um, she uh, as a designer girl, uh, she worked like that and um, we talk each other, look at, um, I'm not remember the, the, the name of this, uh, this place, but I go with her to uh, buy some things we need to uh, make this elf. And um, I make, and Steve have, have um, many costume at home because we like, of course, you know, <laughs> medieval style. So I choose some things for Arnaud. And we love uh, the, um, the costume. It's funny because um, we talk about the uh, op opposite yin yang in this movie, the, the good and the bad, of course. And Arnaud are more uh, dark, blue and 
dark and Anya is more like white girl. So it's funny because um, we don't thinking about this, but we have in this movie the opposite every time uh, uh, the, the light, the, the, the dark. And so it, it, it's a good, uh, it's, a, it's a lucky, lucky bounce. So I'm very, very happy to this. And um, the axe, so we, I, I buy the, the, with the, the permission with Steve to buy an axe and I work to more darker axe. So um, um, yeah, I, I do this and um, do you have something, um, Steve, uh, to tell about that. Okay, so it was a it was a lion crafted on a side and a lightning bolt on the other side. Uh, those coin I use it uh, in other medieval uh, films. So why not uh, make it again uh, with those coins? Um, it's pretty word endly, endy, and um, uh, the, these coins, um, I um, we ask our colorists to to make something that is creative. So we let him have the time to do his job rightfully, uh, instead of uh, giving too much pressure on him. And you know, there the industry like it works with great great production and distributor is always the same. It it's always uh, have a delay and uh, you have to to bring it on the stuff that you ask and delivery uh, but this time we are a small production so we can uh, make something like take your time make something creative and and it pays it then pays a lot uh, because this coin right here uh, we see like blood and you know in the movie you know, it's it's red. It's uh, it's nasty. It's uh, uh, I really enjoy it with the the, the the VFX and colorist guy for what had happened to those coins. So uh, that's what of the of the thing that he he mentioned uh, into our film, and that that pays off. That's beautiful. Um, also, uh, now that the whole thing is done, the thing is. Um, this is a film with, because of the way it's shot and the message that it conveys because of its importance. Are you actually thinking of showing this to school children? I think this will be a good film to, for children to watch as well. Are you thinking uh, anything about that? Uh, well, if you mention it, that makes me uh, some kind of idea. I don't, I don't even think about this, but to be frank with you. But it may be a very good idea to show it to kids. What exactly are you thinking of making after this? What would be your next project? Is it going to be a fantasy film? Is it going to be something else entirely? What is it going to be about? Are you going to guys work together again? Or Gabrielle will be working on something else entirely? Steve will be working on something else entirely? Well, uh, me and Gabrielle can and Maybe we will work together again. We talk about it, about a, a short film uh, that will be more in north of Quebec. So uh, I'm pretty uh, eager to see his uh, new script. So uh, it may be uh, very interesting to work with him, of course. Uh, otherwise, uh, we make uh, something uh, uh, on our own self. Can you say something that can inspire or guide aspiring filmmakers or producers to make their first film? Make a movie you like to watch. Uh, for me, you, you do a movie you like and they help you to uh, uh, play with your heart. So you, you, you do the movie you like to watch. And, um, and then another thing, um, it's, uh, I like so much, example, I like so much um, the, uh, this director, um, M. Night Shyamalan. I love so much this, um, this director. And when I'm so young, I see uh, The Sixth Sense and I completely love this movie. And after that, I do some things like movies, some things like that. And, and, and the practice of me to 
understand uh, the movie, what I like, again, when I like to see and what I like to do. Because when, when it's, it's tough, of course, it's tough to make a movie. So help us uh, to do uh, um, and make a movie you like to, um, to do that. So thank you. Thank you so much for um, giving us the time and sharing your insights with Cult Critic.